YouTube. Welcome to another episode of 2 Family. And on this episode, do I have a treat for you guys. It's a wild one, okay? Let me tell you what we have on today's agenda. Do not get distracted by the safari hat. When I saw this hat, I knew I had to have it. <laughs> we got little mama looking precious as ever. Thank you, baby. Yes, ma'am. And we got baby Callie knocked out of sleep. She's always sleeping. As always. <laughs> now, let me tell you what we have on today's agenda, guys, because it's going to be a fun one. Yes. So, I reached out to a guy who has one of the world's most rare sport bikes, okay? When I say rare, this bike is super rare, all right? It's a uh, Triumph 675, and it's a Jason DeSalvo edition. Okay, so they only made 40 in the entire world, guys. 40, okay? That is crazy. And uh, so I asked the guy, uh, you know, just on a whim, I kind of felt like he was going to say no. But on a whim, I asked him, would you trade for my Z1000? You see? Because he said that he was looking to upgrade, obviously, to something that has just a little bit more power. Yeah. Uh, you know? And so, anywho, uh, he told me that he was going to look at a few other bikes, you know? And then, uh, as soon as I sent him uh, the link to the, 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 the full throttle video uh, oh. that, I, that I uploaded uh, on this bike, that's when he asked, uh, when can you meet? <laughs> so, I think the full throttle video, I think I think that sold off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but anywho, guys, um, so we're driving two to two and a half hours, actually two and a half hours. And the guy, he's driving two hours. Yeah. Um, so uh, to make things really fair, I did tell him that I'll toss him a little gas money. Yeah. You know, obviously, uh, seeing that he's making a tour and not having to drive the full four hours yes, uh, to him. So, uh, you know, if you're watching this, bro, I really appreciate you taking the time just to, to ride the bike to us the, the extra distance. Because, uh, you know, it, it goes a long way to yeah. not have to, uh, you know, go so far with our, our, our daughter. Yeah. So, uh, but definitely stay tuned, guys. I'm going to patch you guys in when we get there. Super excited. Um, but before I do, uh, let me show you guys exactly how this bike pretty much looks. So here is an example of how the bike looks. Uh, as you can tell, this is a dealership that is selling their 2013 Triumph uh, 675 DeSalvo edition. And this is number 35 out of 40, and they want $12,000 for the bike. Yeah, that's so that's amazing, man, that we're trading this guy, our Z1000. Um, you know, it really is. Yeah super super excited man i can't believe that we're getting such an amazing deal you know what i'm saying yeah. uh i can tell you that it's mind-blowing to be able to, to obtain something where there's only 40 made in the whole world in the whole world really blows my mind guys but uh this i'm about to scroll over and show you guys where um it, it kind of has some information here. I'm not going to go through all this. If you want to you read it, you can kind of pause the video here. But Jason DeSalvo himself actually signed all 40 bikes. Yes. So super excited. Still cannot believe that, uh, that, that this is actually happening. So uh, yeah, I'll patch you guys in when we get there. One last thing, guys. I wanted to uh, run something back for you guys real quick, okay? Uh, so, obviously, we traded the MV Augusta for the Z1000. If you guys remember, I paid $4,700 for that MV Augusta, okay? Then we traded, we traded for the Z1000. So, that's pretty much a $4,700 Z1000 back there. Now, we're trading for a $12,000 uh, a, a super rare bike where there's only 40 made in the entire galaxy, okay, <laughs> for the Z1000. So that Triumph is pretty much a $4,700 bike yeah. when it comes to how I was able to finagle my way yeah. to it. You yeah. know, it's pretty yeah. cool how I was how I was able to spend 47 on an MV, trade the MV for the Z1000, <laughs> now trade the Z1000 for, for this. I didn't have to spend $12,000, okay. guys. You know, sometimes you just gotta like. Buy some cheap stuff, man. Try and sell it for a little more than what you paid for it. You know, trade, work around. You know what I'm saying? Have fun with it. That's pretty much what me and my wife did. We had some fun with it. We decided to trade for the Z1000. We had so much fun. And as soon as I saw the most rarest Triumph that's pretty much out on planet Earth right now, uh, obviously, uh, I can't believe the guy said, yeah. I know, but you, know. you never know what people are into. So just, you know, you got to put exactly. out there. Let's get it. We're almost there, guys. I'll patch you in. Let's do it. We're here, guys. Just pulled up. Mufflers. 
they're not even really mufflers, man. They're, they're kind of just like straight through, almost like a voodoo exhaust. You guys have ever heard of that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, like I said, I have the mufflers with me. I just didn't have time to put them back on the bike. They just like hold on? Or yes, sir. Like yep, that they do. And uh, they still have the catalytic converter. So obviously it's still going to make the same amount of power it did stock. It's up to you to start it up for you and take it off the trail. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not bougie, so that's, that's not a big deal to me. I see. Is it okay if I just sit on your motorcycle? Man, it looks like it was almost melting into the concrete. He turned it around. Look at that time. Oh, okay. I was like, whoa. I was like, is it that hot? Oh, you are crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. This feels really nice. I'm not going to lie. It does have a new clutch on it, too. I see. Yeah, brand new clutch plates. Wow. Man, that feels pretty nice, man. I'm not gonna lie. Nice bike. Okay. Well, I'm definitely interested, man. If you if you are, you know, I can. doing a catalytic converter delete like I'm adding a mid pipe to that stock header um, 
but even full system exhaust for that bike is very cheap, like 450 Especially if you go to the company called Scorpion on eBay. Uh, you know, they make cheap full system exhaust that I've heard good things about. So. But like I said, it's in perfect shape, man. And these, you can just slide these off. Like I said, I put all this stuff on for the kids and for the channel. So, yeah. And it's just to protect the mufflers. And um, I wasn't able to stop at the bank, so I just brought 180 to give you if you decide. Okay. I did a little research uh, just because I saw that in your advertisement. So yeah, I, I watched like a YouTube video or two. I like the ZX10. Yeah, it's beautiful. Can, can, can I possibly hear you rev it up? Just a little? <laughs> Man, look at his helmet. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. That helmet is a work of yeah. art. Oh, wow, look at his mirrors. Oh. Wow. Oh. like a dragon, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, that just made my day. Thanks. <laughs> wow. It's crazy how you can get like adrenaline from yes. just someone even revving up a bike. Right? It'll get you get you it'll wake you up. I'll put it that way. <laughs> All right, Ty, let me get the title real quick. Yes. Is it okay if I get you the ride out of the bill of sales? Yes, sir. Yeah, not a problem. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Okay. I see. So you guys don't have to memorize your titles? Oh, man, I love you. Do that. Let's see. Yeah, I like your helmet too. Thank you. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> That's silly. There you go. Here's yes. a title to our, our, our triumph. Woo! Mm. Hopefully, that's legible to you. Yeah. Because my hand right is very preschool. <laughs> it's Ivan. Probably. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Oh, these were the spare parts? Great. Yeah, it's good. Awesome. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. Okay, fine. I'm probably just going to set this down and, and, and load the bike up. I'll come back okay. and get this. Hey, I hope you guys ride safe. Yeah. Have a good day. Yes, baby. Can you talk about lucky? Lucky. Can you talk about like so blessed? lucky? Yes. Look at. Can, I know. Can y'all look at know. Look, look at this look thing. Look at this bike, y'all. It is beautiful. Right. Ooh, baby. Babe, it's crazy. This to me has the same quality as the Pentagali. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like I'm riding my Pentagali when I'm when I'm when I'm on this. Ooh. Okay. And I can test out his Kawasaki. Do it, baby. <laughs> oh man, I feel like a little kid. You are so sorry. Christmas day. <laughs> wow. I never ridden this generation. Nope. I had a 08 ZX10. Yep. Man, look at the mirrors. I'm sorry, it's just it's amazing. Wow. Oh, that's that's wow. so sick. 
<laughs> ASV levers. Look oh my that. goodness. Famous. All of the yummy stuff. Oh, you okay. Are so stupid. All right. That's it. Let me get off his, let me give his bike back. Yeah, baby. <laughs> wow. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. That was amazing. All right, Ty. Let's All hit right. the road. Let's hit the road, baby. Yeah, that made my day. Nothing but come ups. Hey guys, made it home with the Daytona 675. Just yes, Salvo edition. Let's go. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh yeah. Look. I just wanted to tell you guys that um, I give this bike the best sounding award. Uh, you know, I, I really do. It's very unique. I second that. Um, to me, the bike it's got almost like a little turbo sound, almost like a, you know, and and and, and that sound made it with the exhaust uh, noise. It's really, really unique. Uh, to me, it actually sounds a little better than our Crossplane R1, yes. uh, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. As to me, that was the best exhaust sound until I heard this in person. Right. Okay, I could, I could actually go to sleep to the sound of this Daytona. Yeah. This is the day that they launched the beautiful DeSalvo bikes. Ours was there. Ours was yep. there. Yep, yep, that's so insane that we got our hands on one. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, yeah. But uh, the reason that I have my Pentagali covered up, guys, is because I'm doing a theme tour. Oh, yeah. So you got you to gotta stay tuned for that. I can't, I can't show you anything on that. I ain't ready. Yep, and then uh, I'm, I'm about to uh, do an update video right now uh, here and, and, and kind of let you guys know what's going on with all the bikes. So... We'll start with our 2022 CBR 600 RR stunt bike. Um, that bike, um, when I got it in the house, I noticed just a faint fuel smell. And that's the thing about all, all of these motorcycles. They don't give off any gas smell whatsoever. Uh, you know, and so I was able to pick up on that very quickly, realized, tracked it down to the gas cap being an eBay special. Uh, and so it's not sealing proper, properly. So me and my wife, we already ordered a, a really good name brand gas cap. Uh, you know, and so when that comes in, that'll be good. Uh, we have a pee pad under there because uh, on the clutch side, the gasket has a small leak. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually, I already ordered a new gasket and I'm about to replace that. So, yes. Um, one thing that's amazing, guys, is the guy who I got that bike yes. from, he told me he's going to take the time out of his day to teach me how to stunt. Get out! Let's go! So I decided to actually turn our GSXR 600 yes. rebuild bike into my practice stunt bike. Mm. And then when I get good, I'll, I'll start to stunt the Honda. Oh, so uh, let's keep it moving. The purple S1000 back there. Yeah. Um, we, I decided that I'm actually going to install an exhaust system on our Mortal Kombat Ooh. S1000. So stay tuned for that. Uh, right now it has a stock cat. So yeah. she's, she's, she's pretty quiet right now. 
But uh, stay tuned for, for the exhaust video on that. And then we'll go over to our beautiful drag oh, bike S1000. Um, I'm literally waiting for a supercar uh, or, or actual motorcycle uh, show to, to pop up, you yes. know, because uh, I really want to bring her out. I know that, that this is going to get a lot of attention. Uh, so I want to get like a reaction video of all the people. Because oh, uh, be awesome. I know it's actually going to get a lot of attention, guys. So um, I'm really excited, man. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, man, this story is about the Daytona. So, you know, we are super excited. Super um, excited. I'll tell you, I'm leaving the Daytona the way it is. I'm not going to put a sticker on her. Uh, I'm leaving even the OEM signals on the bike. Everything you see is staying on the bike. Yes. So, uh, you know, we are we are treating her like the precious limited commodity that she is. Yes, she is. So, <laughs> you know, and then right over here. We have the beautiful Yamaha R1 crossplane sitting there looking pretty. Our autism awareness bike. Yep, and the autism awareness stickers actually came in. So I'll go in and zoom in on that. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know, for some of the people who don't know, this theme is an actual autism awareness theme. Uh, there was a couple of people who, uh, who actually commented that they really didn't like the theme too much. You know, and obviously there's a ton of people, uh, way more people who actually love the theme. Uh, but, you know, nonetheless, this theme was actually made for uh, the children who have autism. Me and my wife are going to be visiting the autism facilities. Yes, and we're going to have all the kids sign, um, you know, the, the bike. Every single triangle you see, uh, we're going to have them sign. And we're going to visit every facility until every single triangle is signed by all of those kids. So, yes. you know. Uh, like I said, you know, this theme, it, was, it wasn't made for the people who don't like it, you know. It was made for children who have autism. Exactly. So, for the kids. Yep, it's for the kids, y'all. But, uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned, guys. Uh, we're super excited. Cannot believe that we have this new addition oh, to our, our family. Gosh. Very happy. So mind blown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was telling my wife, I wonder what the weight capacity of our floor is here. Cause, I've been wondering. Oh, yeah, we... This looks like a dealership showroom right now. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys. Uh, we love you so much. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Peace. The only way to end a 2L family video. By the way, the jicks are sitting right there. And for anyone wondering, I'm listening to I Gotta Move On by Bryson Tiller. Check it out. Follow me. Now like and subscribe.